Peace and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Avril, your resident herbalist, and welcome back to my channel, Beauty Herbs and Tea, where we talk about all things tea, herbs, and resources to help you start your herbal business right now. So as you all may know, I am a practicing clinical herbalist. I have been practicing herbalism for a little over 10 years now, and I see clients. I help clients out with wellness issues, and because because of the panorama, I have been getting a lot of clients that have came down with this virus that shall remain nameless. <laughs> and I've been helping them out as well as myself, y'all. I actually got the Omarion. I contracted it a little earlier this year, actually. And with my herbs, I was able to knock my major symptoms out in two days, y'all, with my herbs. I was very fortunate to be able to knock out my major symptoms because I do have other health issues and I was a little worried y'all I was a little worried about getting this virus but my herbs honestly I believe they saved my life and I did all of this by using tea and I actually shared some of this on my Instagram I did not share the actual exact recipes and how to make it but I've had so many people approach me asking for my protocol if I could share my protocol with you all and so I've been kind of trying to figure out what's the best way to share it you know do I want to make the teas and then offer the teas to you all as like a package or do I want to put it in a course to allow you all to be able to make it yourself and I like to you know work smarter and not harder so whatever is the least amount of work for me that's what I tend to lean towards so I did decide to put my protocol the protocol that helped me recover and help my clients my family members recover in my course so my new course that is coming out tea and herbs for cold and flu season y'all it was supposed to come out like five months ago <laughs> but I ended up losing the footage to that course and the universe told me it was not the right time but y'all it is coming out I promise you all within the next month now that I have a new house and a new recording space so I decided to include that protocol in that course but as always I love giving you all free information so in this video I am going to talk about my top three herbs that you can use to help you with colds, flus, and viruses. Okay, so let's get into this video. So in my course, I cover three categories of herbs that someone would take if they are trying to prepare themselves for cold and flu season. The first category of herbs is going to be nourishing herbs. Nourishing herbs are herbs that you can take daily to help nourish your body, to help replenish your body of minerals and vitamins that you may be depleted on so that you can fight off you know or have a fighting chance if you were to get sick with something it'll give your body the strength it needs to be able to fight off something and the second category of herbs is actually herbs that are immune boosting herbs a lot of these herbs also tend to be antiviral herbs as well and the last category of herbs are herbs to help for symptomatic issues so they're herbs to help for specific issues that you may be dealing with whether it is congestion it's you know ear aches or nausea or upset stomach or any other symptoms that you can get if you were sick with a virus so in this video I'm going to touch on a few herbs in a few of the categories and to start off with the first herb I'm going to talk about is elderberry now all of you have probably heard about elderberry before elderberry is an amazing amazing herb that honestly everyone should have stocked up in their cabinets right now and that is because elderberry is the goat okay <laughs> if you go to any kind of health food store there's probably a whole section on things that have elderberry in it the reason why elderberry is so amazing is because elderberry is an immune boosting antiviral herb elderberry can help with a lot of things elderberry can help decrease and lessen the symptoms if you do happen to get sick if you feel like you are getting sick elderberry can help knock it out and nip it in the bud before you know it blows up into something major and elderberry can also help you speed up the recovery so that's why I love elderberry don't take my word for it there was a clinical study done on elderberry with the h1n1 virus and in that clinical study it showed that elderberry actually attached to the virus and stopped the virus from replicating in your body so that's how great elderberry is it can stop the virus from 
spreading, again, help you get better faster, help lessen the severity of your symptoms, and help speed up recovery. Up there with elderberry, I also love echinacea. Typically, echinacea and elderberry go hand in hand, and that's because they make a perfect couple. <laughs> they make a perfect couple. Echinacea is also an immune boosting herb, and it is known to help increase your white blood cells. So let's just say, if you know you are around somebody who is sick, echinacea can go in and increase your white blood cells, your fighter cells, cells that fight off viruses, and help protect your body and keep you from getting sick, as well as to also help speed up recovery. And echinacea is also an antiviral herb as well. And the way that I take both elderberry and echinacea is I take it at the very, very, very first sign of any kind of imbalance. I'm talking about your first scratch, your first cough, <laughs> the first anything, take you your elderberry and echinacea or whatever you have. That is going to be, that's gonna give your body a fighting chance to either knock it out right away, and if you don't catch it, then it's going to help you again to decrease the severity of whatever you have going on. Now for the last herb I'm going to mention, this herb is great if you are suffering from specific symptom-based issues. Now, if you have not heard of mullen before, mullen is also the goat. I know I said that about <laughs> El Tapiri. Mullen is known as a lung detox herb and has been used for centuries to help with any respiratory issues, whether it's your lower respiratory system, which is, you know, from here on down. So that's gonna be your lungs and things, that's gonna be your chest and your lungs and things like that, or your upper respiratory system, which is here on up, and that's going to be typically you know your nostril and your nasal pharynx in those areas as well so it helps with both lower respiratory and upper respiratory symptoms it can help with pneumonia asthma bronchitis congestions runny nose sinuses literally anything mullen is amazing for and so i actually include mullen in all of my lung recipes my congestion recipes any kind of respiratory uh recipes or respiratory issues i include mullen in there i actually have mullen in one of my teas my brie tea i have it in there with some other supporting herbs so that is going to be my top three herbs that is going to help you if you are suffering from any virus or colds or flu. So keep in mind, that is not an exhaustive list of herbs. Again, there are so many other herbs that can actually help you if you are sick, if you get a virus or the virus. In my cold and flu course, I actually cover over 50 herbs that you can use to help you fight off viruses or if you do get sick. And like I mentioned before, I will also be including my protocol that helped me out as well. Now, if you do not know, I also launched a Patreon, you all. Yes, you all ask for it. I asked you all if you would like a Patreon, and you all told me yes. So I went ahead and launched a Patreon. I did this, you know, for you all. And if you would like recipes using these herbs with exact measurements and directions on how to take these herbs, I will be including some of that on my Patreon. So on my Patreon, if you click the link in the description box below and sign up, I will be including a recipe for elderberry and mullein syrup. It's going to be a great cough and congestion syrup as well as an antiviral tea that you can take if you happen to get sick as well as me sharing recipes tips and tricks and anything that you need to know in order to run your tea business and before we go we have one more week you all one more week until my new cohort of live classes launch for my herbal business assistant course price will be going up $200 for that in about a week so don't forget to sign up for that course and reserve your spot and lock yourself in to that price and I actually stopped saying this in a lot of my videos but please please thumbs up the video <laughs> let's give this video a thumbs up thumbs up for free information y'all <laughs> you enjoy this content if you love free content please thumbs up the video to help other people find it and to help me keep giving you free information but yes that is all I have for you all today I'm going to record a few more videos as always stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed and i'll see everybody in the next video bye